Hello everybody and welcome to part 16 of my Mass Effect 2 playthrough. This is any given game. Uh, when we last left off, we had just come back from Horizon. And now I'm gonna go up here. And get moving. We've got three no more dossiers. For you, Thank you, Kelly. Don't interrupt me. Uh, we've got three more dossiers and a few loyalty missions that we can get started on. <laughs> a lot of stuff to do on Ilium. I'm gonna save that for later. Let's... Let's help Z. Let's bring Kazumi, because why not? Tapping into Blue Sun's communications. Stay tight and look out for ambushes. Squad Bravo! A shuttle landed near your location. Check it out. Here we go. Keep close. Shot in the back and left to rot. That's definitely Vito style. Let's push ahead. Ooh, a monkey! Look at it! It's so neat! It's an alien monkey! Command to Bravo! Take a position! Likely these people are not runaways! Ooh, another one! They don't seem to be scared of me. Report to base! Armed intruders incoming at the southern checkpoint! Incoming! They don't even run when you get shot when they when you shoot for them. Sounds a lot. Reinforcements incoming. We got your backs. Going down. Oh, 
Where is I? We're here for him. He can't just disappear. There he is. There's something glowing. Oh, just a med kit. Sounds like he hasn't changed. Sounds like he needs to get shot. Glad to see you and I agree. I knew he was a sadistic bastard back when we started the Blue Suns. The Suns only got meaner after he staged his little coup 20 years ago. So yeah, we have a past. 20 years is a long time to hold a grudge. A grudge? Vito turned my men against me. He paid six of them to restrain me while he put a gun to my head and pulled the trigger. For 20 years I've seen that bastard every time I closed my eyes, every time I sighted down on a target, every time I heard a gunshot. Don't you call that a goddamn grudge? You survived a gunshot to the head? Yeah. And you survived your ship getting disintegrated. A stubborn enough person can survive just about anything. Rage is a hell of an anesthetic. Why didn't anyone tell me you founded the Blue Suns? Because it's not common knowledge. Vito wiped me out of the records. He ran the books, I led the men. Worked real well for a while. Then Vito decided to start hiring Batarians. Cheaper labor, he said. Goddamn terrorists, I said. We better get moving. Squads mass at the gatehouse now. They know we're here. Well, we're kind of hard to miss, Bring you know, with on, all the gunfire. Son of a bitch. Do I have my SMG out again? No. Squad Charlie Delta, mass at the gatehouse. Zaid Masani, you finally tracked me down. Vito. Don't be stupid, Zaid. I have a whole company of bloodthirsty bastards behind me, ready to kill or be killed on my command. Actually, take your shot. Give my men a reason to put you down like the mad dog you are. Again. What was that? Gone nearsighted old friend. Burn you, son of a bitch. You just signed your death warrant, Masani. Stupid son of a bitch. Next time you're gonna blow something up, I wanna know about it first. Vito was confident. Had a lot of men. Now he's lost the home field advantage. If we keep up the pressure, no way he's getting out of here alive. You don't make a move unless I know about it first. This is my mission. Remember that. I came here to kill Vito Santiago. If you want my help on your mission, you better make damn sure that man dies today. This isn't the time. We'll discuss this later. Once Vito's dead, we can discuss anything you want. Kill them!
can't get to the gas valves to shut them off. The whole place is gonna blow! No time. Vito's probably halfway to the shuttle docks by now. Vito's wounded. How fast could he be? Vito's smart. We stopped to help these people, and he'll use this time to get away. And if he gets away, I'm blaming you. Okay, so normally, as a renegade, I would choose the bottom option, where we ignore the workers who are trapped inside and go after Vito. But, if you'll remember from the first game, Josie has sort of a, uh, a unique morality. She, she won't let civilians die as long as she can help it. Um, and the renegade choices tend to go against that. Um, so for this mission, we're gonna go with this Paragon option. We're here to free these people. We're going in. I knew this was a mistake. If we're gonna do this, we'd better get to it. so mad at me like this is your fault you're the one that blew up the damn um, gas valves blame yourself and I'm gonna save it just in case Someone's supposed to escape the fire if the door's going open until the fire's out. This place wasn't designed very well, was it? I guess the E could blame the designer. Come in handy.
Mimasani's head get something special in their paycheck. Is it gonna pop me in out? Alright, this isn't so bad a spot. First person to bring me Masani's head get something special in their paycheck. Let's try. 
try this one more time. First person to bring me Masani's head gets something special in their paycheck. Doors lead to uh, empty rooms with nothing in them. So I'm not even gonna bother. But I am gonna save. Because I don't wanna have to go through that again. I can't believe I died twice. I hate those fucking pyros.
You just cost me 20 years of my life. Ah, son of a bitch. It's your own damn fault. You started this fire, Zaid. It makes sense that you'll burn in it. Yeah, screw you. Now come on, get me out of this shithole. You put your revenge ahead of the mission. How can I trust that you'll be there when we need you? I'll do what I was gonna have paid to do, Shepard. Just don't expect any more than that. Now stop screwing around. Let's go! So, um, I gotta bring him with me. Which is fine. I mean, I like Zaid. I just think he's an asshole. You're a madman, Zaid. But I need a certain amount of crazy if I'm gonna stop the Reapers. You could have figured that out before you let Vito get away. Let's get the hell out of here. And so since Zaid, um, well, since Vito got away, Zaid is not going to be loyal to us. Um, which should be fine. I mean, as long as I make the right choices later in the game, he probably won't die on the, uh, final mission. But, you know, it's always a possibility. And loyalty is not a guarantee that they won't die either. They can be loyal, and if you make the wrong choices, they'll die anyway. Um, so I guess non-loyalty is the same way. But, yeah, that's Zaid's loyalty mission. I don't know what to feel about Grunt. My psych reports were for Oak here. We have no guarantees that Grunt is mentally stable. I get the feeling he just doesn't care about anything, including who lives or dies. Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Jack would like to see you down in her hidey hole on the engineering deck. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Yes, Commander. Jack's hidey hole. That's funny. Let's go talk to Grump first. See if he's got anything more to say. Shepard. Just checking in. Making sure you're acclimatizing. <laughs> I was just... <laughs> just sitting here thinking. The picture, huh? I'm finally starting to get it. There's a tank imprint. The battle at Canrum. A dead Turian. Stripped. You don't see them out of their armor much. A Krogan boot on his head. And a claw hammer. It's under the brow plate, pulling it back, right? Eyes have gone black, and you see tension in the muscle. You can feel it ready to snap. I get it. Canrum isn't ringing a bell. Death of Shiagar, female warlord. Turians killed her, so they were hunted down and made examples. Even if they won the war, it was the last push before the rebellions ended. You better have a good reason for ruining my lunch. It's just great. It's a Turian, and he's being torn apart for what they did. I felt nothing before, but now I get it. It was a good fight. The enemy was destroyed to punish them all and send a message. I get it. I hate Turians. I thought you'd be glad. Is this Krogan insight? Realizing you hate someone enough to justify torture? It's not torture. He's dead. But sure, it's wrong. The crime against us was bad, so the message had to be equal or worse. It's not Okir's hate, and it's not who they are. It's what they did, and how bad the answer had to be. Anyway, I'm still figuring where I fit, but it made me laugh. 
Nothing else really on my mind, Shepard. I got thoughts, like little bugs crawling in and out of my head. I can't stop them. You know I have a history with Cerberus. You know how far back it goes? I'll listen to anything you have to say, Jack. Your pal, the elusive man? Never seen him before, but Cerberus raised me. First thing I remember is my cell door in a Cerberus base. They did experiments, drugged me, tortured me. Whatever chance I had to be normal, they stole it by trying to turn me into some super biotic. The doctors. The other kids. Every one of them hated me. They let me suffer. There were other children in the base? I didn't know much about them. I was kept separate. They hated me just like everyone else there. When I broke out, I had to fight through them all. I showed them. But there's a loose end I need to deal with. What did they hope to gain by torturing a little girl? It was something about pain breaking down mental barriers, and how it might clear the way for a more biotic power. I'm sure there was a payoff due at some point, but I wasn't gonna see it. I was wired up in a cell. You loved the power they gave you. They never gave me a choice. How did you get out of there? There was some kind of emergency, and I made a break for it. The other kids came out of their cells and attacked me. So did the guards. I just killed everything in my way and ran. Guess my biotics had developed faster than they thought. I managed to get a shuttle off the ground, drifted until a freighter picked me up. The crew used me, then sold me. That's my uplifting escape story. You're absolutely certain that Cerberus was running the facility? I was a kid, but I wasn't dumb. I know how to listen. It was Cerberus. Don't care how far down the chain it was. They thought they were so clever. Turns out, mess with someone's head enough and you can turn a scared kid into an all-powerful bitch. Fucking idiots. Sounds like they've done a serious 180 since those days. I'm not trying to convince you of something, Shepard. I don't care what they're doing now. I found the coordinates in your files. I want to go to the Telton facility on Pragia, where they tortured and drugged me. I want to go to the center of the place, my cell. I want to deploy a big fucking bomb, and I want to watch from orbit when it goes. You've lived with this your whole life. Why do this now? Like I said, I found the coordinates in your files. You can't expect me to just sit on information like that. Attacking our allies is gonna derail our mission. Not a smart move. The files say it was shut down after my escape. It's been abandoned for years. They going to care if I blow up a garbage dump? I'll set a course for Pragia. I owe you, Shepard. Now, the thing that always annoyed me about Jack's um, storyline is that the only way you can actually help her get over her issues is by romance, which wouldn't be so bad. But the only thing is, she's only romanceable by a male shepherd. So if you play a female shepherd, Jack's just messed up forever. And you have no... Um, opportunity to help her in any way besides blowing up the f blowing up the facility and it just it just always annoyed me oh jeez that door almost closed on me oh crap we're way over time so i'm gonna end it right here and see you guys in the next part